I mentioned that the coronavirus is spreading across the nation again now, and there are particular areas of concern, including New York City, where there are surges in particular neighborhoods. Officials targeting nine zip codes in the boroughs of Brooklyn and Queens. It's where new infections are spiking. Statewide, the number of positive tests is at 1%, which is really fantastic. But these zip codes are seeing rates well over 3%. You can see some of them are much higher than that. We mentioned schools in these areas are shutting down starting tomorrow, but for now, non-essential businesses will stay open. The New York, the New York governor, Mario Cuomo, says that, the, uh, says that the new clusters are like hot embers in a field of dry grass. The entire city is under threat. CNBC's Contessa Brewer is in one of those Brooklyn hotspots. Contessa, how, how are they dealing with this, They're tackling these new clusters? Well, look, Shep, you mentioned it there. One thing, no school starting tomorrow in nine communities. And just as we're facing this renewed outbreak in New York City, Governor Andrew Cuomo and Mayor Bill de Blasio appear to be engaging in a kind of power battle. The only action we're taking today on this data, we are using the zip codes to close those schools tomorrow. That falls short of Mayor Bill de Blasio's plan, which calls for closing non-essential businesses in nine zip codes where infections are surging. Today, de Blasio pushed back, saying the closures are happening. A governor's team are considering if they have alterations they want to make to that geography or to the approach. But until we hear otherwise, our plan is to move ahead Wednesday morning uh, with enforcement in those nine zip codes of all non-essential businesses. The governor and mayor were also at odds during the first wave, with the governor often trumping plans announced by City Hall. The bickering not sitting well with local business owners. You wish that they could get on a call and, you know, have a, have a conversation and make a great plan together. It doesn't always feel like the most efficient government. The latest virus outbreak comes just six days after New York City restaurants reopened for indoor dining. Business owners are trying to salvage whatever they can from a terrible year. As a city, we all have to do our best to keep each other safe. So that's what we're doing at Pies and Thighs. Our hope is that that's what restaurants are doing across the city. Well, here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, you can imagine these business owners are just crushed at the prospect of things shutting down once again. After all, New Yorkers are tough. I mean, facing daunting odds, Shep, in the spring, and now asking themselves, come on, if we can't make it here, can we make it anywhere? Ah, uh, there you go. Contest Contested, thanks so much. And I'm the idiot who called him Mario Cuomo instead of Andrew. Sorry, Mr. Governor.